How are you guys doing? Today is Thursday, December 8th, 2022. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I am going to preview all four of the matches that will be taking place in the quarterfinal round of the 2022 FIFA World Cup Finals, as the round will start tomorrow. And because the game is at 10 a.m., I'm gonna drop the episode today. Taking a look at the four, eight teams that made it here, in order to preview this round, I am going to review all eight of these teams' paths to make it here because, of course, they had to make it through group stage and through the round of 16 to make it here. Looking at the first matchup that will be played tomorrow, Croatia will be facing off against Brazil after Croatia would finish second in their group under Morocco and Brazil would win their group over second place Switzerland. I'm looking first at how Croatia would make it to this round. In the group stage, they would finish with five points. Their first matchup would be a 0-0 draw with Morocco. Their second matchup would be a 4-1 win against Canada, who was unable to pick up a single point in the group stage round. Their four goals would come from Andrej Kramaric. Kramaric would get two of them. Um, Marco Livaglia would score in the 44th, would score their second goal. And then Lavro Meyer would score their fourth goal in the 94th minute to put them above and beyond after Alfonso Davies scored the first goal for Canada. Their third and final match would see them draw versus Belgium, and once Croatia would make the round of 16, they would find themselves facing off against a very strong Japan team who would initially win their group, um, Group E, over Spain and Germany. In the round of 16, they would go on and see um, a one-to-one -one matchup as the very first half goal will come from Japan's Daizen Maeda. Croatia's lone goal in the second half would come from Ivan Perisic. This matchup would eventually go to penalty kicks, and once it went to penalty kicks, um, Croatia would win it 3-1. to one. The game-winning goal would come from Mario Pasalic after Maya Yoshida's goal would get saved as Croatia's goalie in this matchup, Dominic Livakovic, would literally save three of the four goals in order to get Croatia into this round. Now taking a look at how Brazil would make it into this round. Brazil would go on and win their group with Switzerland, Cameroon, and Serbia. They won their very first matchup 2-1 versus Serbia. Their two second half goals will come from Richarlison, including a goal that many would consider the goal of the tournament off of his volley and turnaround uh, goal. Um, the second game in the group stage would see them beat Switzerland 1-0. Their lone goal will come from their midfielder Casemiro. And then in the third and final matchup, they would end up losing to Cameroon off of a 90-second minute goal from Vincent Abu Bakar, which was so hyped that he ended up taking his shirt off and getting a red card for his team. But after originally qualifying for the round of 16 for the first two games, Brazil would play its round of 16 matchup against South Korea. They would end up beating South Korea 4-1 to one on Monday, December 5th. All four of their goals would come in the first half. Their first goal would come from their elite forward, Vinny Jr., who plays for Real Madrid. Their second goal would come off of a penalty from their elite forward, Neymar, as Neymar has is one goal off from Pele for the most Brazilian international goals of all time. Their third goal will come from their striker Richarlison for his third goal of the tournament and Lucas Paqueta would score in the 36th minute putting them up 4 to nothing at the half. And then um, Pike Sung Ho would score in the 76th minute. Sorry if I butchered the name. Um, he would score the lone goal for South Korea as Brazil would win this game by three goals in order to make it here. So, of course, with this first matchup, um, Brazil will face off against Croatia, and the winner will face off against the winner of the second game tomorrow. And that second game will be between the Netherlands and Argentina, who would both win their group stages and win their round of 16 game to make it here. Looking first at the Netherlands, they would finish with seven points in their group after they would initially go on and win their first game against Senegal 2-0. Their first goal will come in the 84th minute minute from their young phenom Cody Gakpo um, and then in the 99th minute Davy Claussen would make it 2 nothing. Their second group stage matchup would see them draw with Ecuador 1-1 one -one as Cody Gagpo scored the lone goal in the 6th minute. Ecuador's Ener Valencia would tie it up in the 49th minute as that would be all the scoring that would take place. The Netherlands would win their third matchup of the group stage against the host nation Qatar 2 to nothing as their 
first goal would come from Cody, Cody Gakpo. He would be one of two players to score in all three of the group stage matchups, along with Spain's Alvaro Morata. And then Netherlands' Frankie de Jong would score in the 49th minute to make it um, 40 or to make it two to nothing um, to earn Netherlands that spot going into the round of 16 with the top spot in their group. Once they would make the round of 16, they would go on and beat the United States after the United States would finish second in Group B. As in that matchup versus the United States, the Netherlands would take a 2-0 lead in the first half with a goal from Memphis Depay and a goal from Daly Blind off of assists from Denzel Dumfries. The United States would score the first goal of the second half to make it 2-1 off of Haji Wright's 76-minute goal. However, the Netherlands would score their third goal in the 81st minute from Denzel Dumfries to, of course, complete his amazing performance against the United States. And then, so that is how they would make it here to the quarterfinal round. Looking at Argentina, they would finish at the top of Group C with six points. They would actually lose their first group stage matchup against Saudi Arabia. Lionel Messi would score the first goal of that matchup off of a penalty kick. Um, Saudi Arabia's Saleh al Sheri would score in the 48th minute to tie it up at the beginning of the second half. Five minutes later, Salem al Dalsari would score in the 53rd minute to give Saudi Arabia a historic upset win and earn the entire team Rolls Royces, even though Saudi Arabia would not win another game in, that group, uh, in the group stage round. With their backs against the wall, Argentina would beat Mexico in their second group stage matchup, their first goal coming from their goaded forward Lionel Messi in the 64th minute, as Enzo Fernandez would score their second goal in the 87th minute. In the third group stage matchup, needing a win to go through, they would end up beating Poland 2 to nothing. Their lone goal would come from Alexis McAllister in the 46th minute as Julian Alvarez would score in the 67th minute to give them what they needed. Once they would make it to the round of 16, Argentina would go on and beat Australia 2-1. to one. They would score the, the, own, the lone goal in the first half off of a 35th minute goal from their goaded forward Lionel Messi. Um, they would see Julian Alvarez score in the 57th minute in a, his second consecutive game. And then Enzo Fernandez would score an own goal to give Australia its lone goal of the game. But of course, following that, that would lead to Argentina making it to this round where they will face off against a very strong Netherlands team with a very strong defense. Um, so those are going to be the first games as the winner of Argentina and Netherlands will face off against the winner of Brazil and Croatia. After those two winners go through, they should be facing off on Tuesday, December 13th at 2 o'clock. And then, of course, taking a look at the games that are going to be taking place on Saturday, December 10th. The first matchup at 10 a.m. will be between Morocco and Portugal. Taking a look at how both of these teams would make it through, they would both win their respective groups. Um, Morocco would win Group F after finishing with seven points. They have not lost in this tournament. In the first group stage matchup, they would draw with Croatia 0-0. Morocco would then go on and beat Belgium 2 to nothing in their second group stage matchup. They would see Romain Sailly score in the 73rd minute as Zakaria Abu Kalal would score in the 92nd minute. Um, and then, of course, going into their last matchup, pretty much needing a win to finish at the top, they would beat Canada 2-1 to one, as Canada would lose all three of their group stage matches. Morocco's two goals would come in the first half. Their first would be in the fourth minute from Hakim Ziyech as he solo from the goalie. And then Youssef Inessary would score in the 23rd minute to put Morocco up. Canada's lone goal would be a result of a own goal off of Morocco's Nayef Aguerd. Um, so that is how Morocco would make it into the round of 16, having not lost. In the round of 16, Morocco would go on and beat Spain 3 to nothing off penalty kicks. Looking at how that particular matchup would go, of course, going all the way through extra time without a score, Spain's Three, first three penalty kick takers would all get their kicks blocked. Pablo Sarabia, Carlos Soler, and Sergio Busquets would get their penalty kicks saved by Yassine Bounou, um, who I believe plays club soccer in Spain, as Morocco's elite right back Adra Fakimi would score a Paneca right down the middle um, to make it a 3 to nothing win off of penalties to advance to the quarterfinal round. 
and then of course looking at how their opponents would make it to this particular round. Uh, Portugal would go on and win Group H with six points after winning the first two matchups in the group stage. Um, in their first matchup, they would beat Ghana 3-2. to two. Um, They would see their first goal come off of a penalty from their goaded forward Cristiano Ronaldo to make him the oldest European goal scorer in the FIFA World Cup. Um, then Joao Felix would score in the 78th minute after Ghana would tie it up in the 73rd from Andre Ayew's goal. And then Rafael Leao would make it 3-1 to one just two minutes later before Osman Bukhari would score the last goal of the game for Ghana before hitting Cristiano Ronaldo's CU celebration. Portugal's second match would see them beat Uruguay 2 to nothing with two goals coming from Bruno Fernandes, the first of which many are disputing would come off of Ronaldo's head. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a goal for Portugal. So with this win, they would automatically advance to the round of 16. In their third match day, they would lose to South Korea 2-1. to one. Portugal's lone goal came from Ricardo Horta in the fifth minute. Um, Kim Young-Gwan would score in the 27th minute before Kwang, Hwang Hee Chan would score in the 91st minute to put South Korea above off of Song Kyung Min's um, assist to put them above and help, help them qualify for the round of 16. Once Portugal would make it into the round of 16, they'd put the beat down on Switzerland as they would win this game 6-1. to one. The first goal would come from Gonzalo Ramos, their forward who would start instead of Cristiano Ronaldo for the game. Their second goal of the first half would come from Pepe, their legendary starter who's been there, I would imagine, as long as Cristiano. Um, Portugal's set their third goal of this game would come in the second half from Gonzalo Ramos to make it three to nothing. And then Rafael Guerrero would score in the 55th minute to make it 4 0. Switzerland's lone goal will come from Manuel Akanji in the 58th minute. Portugal's fifth goal will come from Gonzalo Ramos in the 67th minute to make it the very first and so far only hat trick of the 2022 World Cup so far. And then Rafael Leal would score in the 92nd minute to make it a 6 to 1 route of Switzerland to earn Portugal's spot into the quarterfinal round where they will face off against a very strong Morocco team, as Morocco is the first African team since 2002, I believe, to make it through the round of 16. And then, of course, that leads into the last matchup of this quarterfinal round, as it will be between England and France, two nations that are definitely known for their soccer history, essentially. England would make this round after finishing at the top of Group B over the U.S., Iran, and Wales. Their first match would see England beat Iran 6-2. to Their first goal would come from Jude Bellingham in the 35th minute, their elite midfielder who plays for Dortmund. Their second goal would come from their elite forward Bukayo Saka, who's leading the Premier League leading Arsenal to the best record as of right now. Raheem Sterling, whose birthday is today, would end up scoring England's third goal to make it three to nothing going into the half. Their fourth goal would come from Bukayo Saka to finish the brace before Mehdi Taremi would score Iran's first goal of the game. Iran's, or I'm sorry, England's fifth goal would come from Marcus Rashford, their elite forward for Manchester United. Um, and then their sixth goal would come from Jack Grealish, who plays for Manchester City. Iran's second goal would come from Taremi off of a penalty kick, as that would finish off of his brace. Um, after England's first win in their first group stage match, they would draw nil-nil with the United States. And in their third matchup, they would beat Wales 3 to nothing. Their first goal will come from Marcus Rashford in the 50th minute. Literally the next minute, Phil Foden from Man City would make it 2-0 for England. And then Marcus Rashford would make it a brace in the 68th minute, giving him three goals in the group stage round. And once England would qualify for the round of 16, they would go on and face off against a very solid Senegal team, missing Sadio Mane. In this round, they would go on and win it 3 to nothing. Their first goal would come from their midfielder, Jordan Henderson, who plays for Liverpool. Their second goal would come from their elite striker, Harry Kane, who is tied for the um, World Cup lead in assists this year. And then their third goal would come from their elite forward, Bukayo Saka as England would ease their way into this round. 
And then, of course, looking at their opponents from across the aisle, the defending champs of the World Cup, the winners from 2018, France would make it into this quarterfinal round after, of course, winning their group with six points after having won the first two games of the group stage. They would beat Australia in the first match 4-1. to one. Um, after Craig Goodwin would put Australia up one nothing, Adrien Rabiot would score in the 27th minute to tie it up for France. Olivier Giroud would become France's all-time leading scorer with a brace. His first goal would come in the 32nd minute. Kylian Mbappe would score France's third goal in the 68th minute as Giroud's 71st minute would put the cherry on top for France. Going into France's second matchup, they would go on and beat Denmark 2-1 with, um, with a brace from Kylian Mbappe. He would score the first goal in the 61st minute in the second half. Denmark's Andreas Christensen would tie the game up at 61 before Mbappe would break the tie in the 86th minute to earn France a spot in the round of 16 through six game, or just through um, two games. In their third group stage matchup, France would lose one to nothing to Tunisia, giving up a 58th minute goal to Wabi Khazri. So that is how they would make it into the round of 16 with just six points. As in, there were no teams in the group stage round that won all three of their matchups. There were teams that were that that didn't pick up a loss, but there were not there was not a single team that won all of their matchups. Going into the round of 16, France would go on and beat Poland 3-1. to Their first goal will come from Olivier Giroud, their striker, um, and then they would see their second goal and third goals come in the second half off of a brace from their elite forward Kylian Mbappe as his five goals are currently leading the World Cup in total goals. And then on the losing end of this matchup, uh, Poland's lone goal would come off of a penalty kick from their goaded forward Robert Lewandowski in what might be his last World Cup game um, in his career. But of course, that leads us to the A teams that are here as the winner of England and France will face off against the winner of Morocco and Poland. That semifinals game will more than likely take place on Wednesday, December 14th. If you ask me who I think is going to win these games, I think Brazil is going to be Croatia, but I think a Croatia win is possible, but I think Brazil will win. I do think that the Netherlands might upset Argentina, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was the other way around. But I do think Netherlands is going to take this one. I do think that Portugal is too strong for Morocco, so I think Portugal will beat Morocco, and I think that France is the stronger side than England, so I think that France will end up beating England going through. But of course, that is who I think is going to go through, but of course, time will tell, and once this round is done, I will preview the semifinals once we get there. And with that said, I want to thank everyone for listening. I hope all is well, and I'll catch you with more tomorrow. Thanks for listening to my piece. I hope all is well and peace out.